So you could create a all-inclusive feed. So maybe you have a general category of podcasting and underneath that you have three different shows in podcasting. Well, say someone wants to get all my shows through one link, they can get it here. But we're more focused on getting each show one at a time and creating your RSS feed so that you can put your single show onto iTunes. And so that's not the feed we, we want at this time for this tutorial. But what we, remember what we did is we've created a category. So we go over here to categories and here's our three categories. We have news only. Now if people wanted to just get the blog stuff, I could put this blog post in news only. But more importantly, we have podcast quick tips podcast as a category now showing up. So we go ahead and click on that. And we are now in the podcast quick tips category, as you can see up top here in our browser bar. And you can see the only thing in this category is our episode. And we can now click on the RSS feed and we have the podcast quick tips category feed. And we go ahead and we click on that. And there we go. There's our episode in our feed. So we've created a feed for our podcast and we've published a podcast into that category. And you can see here now, really it's the same address, the podcast helper wordpress.com category feed for podcast quick tips. And it just has this feed attached to the end of it. This is the feed we're going to take and place into feed burner so that it's podcast ready because at this point it's not really ready to be published to iTunes because it doesn't have the proper enclosures and I won't really go into that here. But there's a link to our mp3 file and that's what's important. iTunes will see that there's an mp3 file in this podcast feed and it'll scoop it up or it'll actually just point the user to this link. It, iTunes doesn't host any content on their site. They just look at the feed, say here's a new podcast and allow someone to go ahead and download that podcast. Okay, so here's where it gets a little tricky. Again, I showed you your feed address and I said Safari has this, it displays it as feed colon slash slash. Well, typically if in something like Mozilla, Firefox, this would be your feed address and you could just copy it and paste it into FeedBurner. But we do need to change one thing because we're in Safari. And we just need to change this feed to HTTP instead of feed. And you could copy that and that would be your feed address for the next step. Or you could leave it as feed, which Safari is giving you. And we could copy that and we will go one step further and we'll go over here to feedvalidator.org. So if you go over to feedvalidator.org, this is a really handy free site which just checks your feed to see if it's working. And what we'll do is we'll take that feed colon slash slash feed that Safari gave us that we copied and we'll paste it into feed validator. And you can see, see, instead of HTTP, it says feed and we'll click validate. And now you can see feed val validator has actually changed the prefix for us. Instead of feed, it's HTTP, which is correct. So then you could just highlight everything in there and copy that. That is your WordPress feed or your raw feed at a WordPress. Now that's the feed we have to give to FeedBurner. So the FeedBurner can turn our, our basic WordPress feed into a podcast ready feed. So that's the next step. And you can see this is a valid RSS feed. So we're good and we get the check mark. There are some recommendations, but just nothing you can do about that through this method. So it's nothing to worry about. Your feed is going to work. So let's go over to FeedBurner. So you need to go to feedburner.google.com and of course you need a Google account and I'm already logged in here so that's this would be the back end once you have your Google account you'll log into feedburner.google.com and the next step will be to burn that WordPress feed that we just got. So this is what you'll see when you log in and you've got this box here it says burn a feed this instant type your blog or feed address here. So that's what we'll do. We'll just copy and paste, which we already copied and we paste. And there's our feed and our HTTP, WordPress, category, podcast quick tips. So we're creating a, a podcast feed for podcast quick tips. And you see it says feed on the end. Now what you want to do is click this little box that says I am a podcaster, which just 
gives you a few extra little doohickeys for your podcast feed and simply click the next button. So we'll move into the next section and it says welcome let's burn a feed for you now here's some two important things here's your feed title this is simply how your feed is going to appear in the back end of feed burner so you can you can identify it easily and this will help you when you have more than one feed in your account which you can do so we're gonna do is highlight this that's already in there and we're gonna say podcast quick tips and I can even put podcast quick tips podcast just to be really specific and even more important down here on the next one this is going to be your feed address this is going to be the address that you are ultimately going to give to iTunes Miro Zune player Blackberry podcast pickle anywhere that accepts a feed that you can put your podcast in their directory this is the address you are going to give them this is going to be your final feed address so right now it has something in there I don't want so I'm just gonna highlight all that and take it out and we're gonna call this podcast quick tips and since I already actually own podcast quick tips feed burner address so it won't give it to me so if this happens to you you can have to get a little creative someone obviously you can't have the same feed burner address that someone else has now hopefully if you have a podcast and you have a name for your show you've gotten the domain for it hopefully you checked on that before you named your show it's kind of helpful because it helps you get things like this but if someone does have your feed uh, no one's really gonna see this very often so it's not a big deal to have to name it something different so for this example I'm just gonna name it podcast quick tips 2 and we're gonna go on to the next thing so we click next here and we'll move into the next section and really that's it congrats your feed burner feed is now live and it asks you if you want to dress it up a little bit because it gives you all kinds of options and cool things you can do with your feed basically it's going to give you a link right here to your feed now this is very important this is what you want to save and put away somewhere of course you can always log into feed burner and get this again or we could uh, click on it and it takes us right to our feed so it looks really pretty and you'll see there's our feed burner feed and people can subscribe with all kinds of different podcatchers or their different readers in Google Yahoo you name it and they can add it to iTunes right from here but you'll see we only have one episode because that's all we published into the feed and that should be working the podcaster studio and that works just fine it's got our image art in there and everything and we'll go back to the back end of feed burner and I really only want to do one more thing again save this address somewhere where you're not going to lose it because you're going to be giving that out and submitting it to different places like iTunes so we'll go it gives us option to go to next and it'll run you through all the setup of feed burner or in this case I'm gonna skip directly to feed management and just show you that so we the one thing you'll probably want to do is go to the optimize tab here in the back end and go to this thing called smart cast and this is basically how to control what shows up on your iTunes page so you'll want to fill this out so you can go ahead and leave this create podcast enclosures from links to any rich media file you can include PDFs in your feed and podcast will uh, iTunes will pick that up or podcast or video audio video either one so just leave that the way it is unless you just want it to pick up audio files you can select that too so you can go ahead and pick a category for your show subcategory really important you need to have an image that lives online somewhere and you just put the link to that image there so that your image will show up in the iTunes store so put that in there and then go ahead and just fill out the rest of this stuff your summary keywords an email address and important to contains explicit content if your show does it contain explicit content if you have bad words and such you definitely need to label it as so so if, it, if you are swearing in your podcast you want to go ahead and label it yes because if you don't label it correctly iTunes will reject your feed because someone's going to listen to it in the approval process so go ahead and fill out your smart cast and that's really all I wanted to show you besides that and go ahead and 
you click your save button and you can go ahead and fill out the rest of the stuff that you want to um, you can do stuff like publicize which allows people to get an email subscription link to your show and all kinds of fun stuff and uh, if you want to learn more about that I'll probably have a video tutorial of FeedBurner and running you through FeedBurner and what's important for your podcast. So go ahead and check that out on the podcasterstudio.com tutorials and you can learn some more about FeedBurner or you can, you know, look in YouTube, which is like an online university or just Google FeedBurner and FeedBurner has a lot of cool resources of their own. So lots of ways to find out more about FeedBurner, but what we've done is create a feed, which, which is really the main part of this tutorial and the important part. So we can go to edit feed de details. Again, if you forgot your feed or you lost your feed, here it is, you know. Here is your original feed. This is where your actual feed on WordPress. This is what FeedBurner is looking at. And that you want to just save. Don't touch that unless you're going to change your feed and that's for another tutorial. But here's your FeedBurner address. So it's always going to start the same HTTP colon forward slash slash feeds dot feedburner dot com and then whatever you named your show. So in this case it's podcast quick tips two. That is the feed I'm going to give to iTunes. You'll go to iTunes, you'll click on submit a podcast, it'll ask for your feed and it will take that in and they will send you an approval. Uh, if your show goes through, as long as you haven't used any copyrighted artwork and you've and your feed is valid, again we showed you feed validator. We have a valid feed, so that's good. And you know different things that would get you kicked out of places like iTunes or Zoom, which again is copyrighted stuff, bad language that isn't labeled properly, stuff like that. But we have a podcast feed using WordPress. We set up a category. We put a post into our category, and here is our post, and here is our WordPress.com category feed for podcast quick tips. We made sure it was valid at Feed Validator, and we created a feed burner account, and we burned, quote unquote, burned this feed and ended up here with our final podcast feed, which again, we were able to look at and see how Safari shows it. At least here's the main title or the main entrance to the uh, back end of FeedBurner. And here is our podcast. And you can see we have zero subscribers because we just created this. And actually, FeedBurner, don't rely on these stats. These are not good. If you're hosting with Libsyn, they have great stats. But that's it. That is our feed. So go ahead and go to the podcasterstudio.com site. This is my actual site, my own hosted version of WordPress, which you can see we've done a lot more with than what we do on WordPress.com, but you can do a lot on WordPress.com as well. Go to the tutorials and view the other helpful tutorials on the site, and I look forward to teaching you again next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.